Welcome to the Circularity Edge podcast, where we discuss the latest news and perspectives on the circular economy and issues relating to social, environmental, and economic sustainability. Join us every week when we discuss what's needed to create a sustainable circular economy worldwide. Now, here is your host, Ken Alston. Hello, this is Ken Alston with the Circularity Edge podcast, and today I have the pleasure of talking with Jose Alejandro Martinez Sepulveda. Jose is a longtime friend and colleague of mine. He is the Strategic Development Advisor for Sustainability Coordination at Universidad EAN in Bogota, Colombia. So welcome to the Circularity Edge podcast, Jose. Hi, Ken. It's a pleasure to be talking to you. I think that since your visit to Colombia the previous year, we have uh, not been able to establish close contact. (laughs) No, of course, with the COVID-19, everything is changed and uh, the opportunity to travel is uh, is much restricted. But as you know, I've been I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about your terrific work at AN University and um, Last time I was there with you in Bogota, you showed me the almost finished new building. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Now I think you have completed it. And I know it's been a, quite a journey for you personally over several years. Yeah. So, so I, I'd love my uh, listeners to, to hear about your project. And So how did the project get started? And how many years was it from when the first idea to do this came up to when you finished the construction? Well, it's a good question. Uh, the, 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 the project uh, began uh, 10 years ago, really, uh, when the university changed the place that uh, um, it, uh, uh, it is uh, working at uh, this moment, and, uh, and boy, another one place, uh, uh, old place, uh, that uh, was a school, a school, and uh, changed. And with the design, the, the first designs changed uh, the first building, the, the Nogal building, uh, more or less 10 years ago. And the second phase was another building. And the EAN Legacy project uh, really began uh, at uh, eight years ago with the idea of the, of the main board of, of the university for to say, okay, we need a new building, but it's not necessary uh, another new building. We need the best building. We need the, mm-hmm. the most sustainable building in Bogota. And it, it was the, the, the first um, big idea and the dream <laughs> began in this moment, really. Yeah, so that, that's interesting because, you know, way back even then, the, the idea came about to make it the most sustainable building in Bogota. That's a big, a big objective. It, is it now open or is it... Is it uh, Still, still waiting for COVID to end. Well, um, it's, it's, it was a, a big <laughs> journey, really, because from the idea, from the from the design, from the construction, is a lot of time, really. We have a, a lot of change in Bogota rules for the new buildings in the in the past years, and really, we uh, we began the 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 process of the of the of the construction of the of the uh, legacy building two years ago with the, with the with the close of the financing things um, right. and well in the in the planning the and legacy uh, will begin in august uh, in in some uh, little days to this moment but uh, the covid 19 uh, um, generate a stop in all the uh, construction process in, in Bogota and in Colombia. Uh, and we have a new date for the, the detail for the, for the finalization, the, the end of the yep. project at December of this year. Okay, so the COVID has made it go back a little bit. Yeah. But you know, you said that over that time, it's the last two years of making, actually building the building, putting the yeah. design into, into reality. There are a lot of innovative things you did with the legacy project with your team at AN around the demolition, the new design, construction. So that, let's go over some of these things. So first of all, you had to demolish the old building in the middle of the city and with the neighbors that were very close by in the middle of the city. What did you do to help with all the noise and the traffic and all the activities so that the neighbors wouldn't get too upset? Well, uh, it's true. Is uh, well, the, the, the first uh, the big activity was to to contract a 
manager, specifically for, for the uh, construction process. Um, uh, with with uh, a good uh, people, uh, Miguel Orejuela, you 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 know it, uh, yes. Ken. Um, with with him, we uh, make a lot of uh, ideas and planning a lot of actions for all the the possible impacts, negative impacts of, of the uh, of the project. For example, the, the noise was was a big uh, challenge because uh, we have a lot of buildings of people, not office, people uh, uh, around our, our university. And we have yes, to- Yes, houses, uh, houses where people yeah, live. Houses, yes, yes it's true. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and with, with the, with the make boards, we have to work and to, to, to do a lot of uh, meetings. Okay, uh, we, we will begin uh, on construction, please. Uh, we need your, your patent, please. We will have a, a very beautiful uh, neighbor in, in the future, but Please, you, you, you need, uh, uh, we need to, to work with you. And it's a, it's a very collaborative process, really, with all the neighbors. With the city, for example, for, for the traffic, we have to put uh, new signals, uh, traffic signals in, 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 the, in the ways, in the, in the, in the streets, uh, for, to create uh, the very good environment for the cars, for the people, for the uh, cycles, for the... Uh, uh, all the people around the, 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 the area was was not easy, but it was very wonderful process because uh, all project, all construction project, uh, is a people project for the yeah, people, yeah. and we have to work with the people. <laughs> like you said, you you had to you chose a very experienced construction manager, and I think this is a really important part because. That person is the one that has to make the decisions, has to make things happen. And as you say, you, you picked a very great person who's, who's helped you to achieve your, um, your objectives. One of the things that I think was very iconic for me to see was <laughs> the, uh, the fencing that was around the site, you know, to keep the public away. Tell us about this fencing and what you did, because I understand there was, if I remember you rightly, there's a fee that has to be paid yeah. for putting the fencing up normally, but you didn't have to pay the fee. How did you yeah, get around yes. it? It's true. Uh, for for the Bogota rules in in, in the in the in the environment uh, environmental uh, authority, we need to to put a, a fencing, and we need a authorization, and we need to pay a fee for to say, okay, it, it is the university, eh? You, you, you need your authorization and you need to pay for, for, for the fee for, for the authorization. And, but uh, with the, with the uh, construction process, we need to, to put a, a, a false wall around the, the process and we need to put uh, the name of the university and to say, okay, it is, uh, be careful with, with, your, with your steps. Uh, Another the, the, the typical things for safety for, for safety, okay, yeah, safety for people yes, being exactly. Able, yes. exactly. Yeah. exactly and we need to to create the authorization and need to create uh, or to pay the fee uh, as, as a similar uh, of, of another process but with this project we talk with the with the authority environmental authority to say okay we need to put uh, another kind of of, of wall of face wall uh, we need to create art we need to put the artist of the area to paint some uh, environmental uh, topics uh, around this 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 area, and I want to to put beautiful this street. And the environmental authority say, okay, sounds great. Tell me, tell me more, tell me more. And we work with the artist, the urban artist, the street artist, the graffiti artist, and say, okay, come here and put uh, and paint uh, birds and paint uh, the trees and paint the iconic uh, things of the university and the, and the Bogota area and, and make art. And the artist- You were say, telling the story, telling yeah, a story, yeah. uh, yes. Exactly, it's true. And the environmental authority said, okay, it's not, it's not a wall, it's not a publicity. Is is a artist idea? Okay, no problem. Don't pay the fee. You have the authorization, and okay, it is great. And one artist. So say, this okay, saved this saved a lot of money, right? For it's, it's, it's a, a fee you didn't have to pay. More or less a uh, three hundred thousand uh, million pesos. Uh, I don't know. It's maybe uh, uh, more or less. Uh, 
uh, $100,000, more or less. Yeah, more yeah or that's less. a big amount and of money to save. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for this project, yeah. Because every, every piece, Colombian pieces in this project was for materials, for planning, for design. Not, we don't have more money for nothing. Not for, no, for, of course. For you, publicity, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in fact, by telling the story, you were also publicizing the university, but in a, in a totally uh, free way for my money, but also yeah. expressing the, the feelings of the area, the local artists, like you say, the graffiti artists. And I think it's a, it's a perfect example of um, what happens when you try to innovate. You don't just do things in the old way, but you open your mind to saying, this is going to be a different, like you said, this is going to be the most sustainable building in Bogota. And when you make that statement, it sets your intention. And I know you had other intentions as well. Um, you were very conscious of the amount of material that you had to move yeah. to in, in demolition. And um, I know you were able to reuse a lot of that and not just dispose of it. So tell us a little bit about how you manage the movement of the trucks on the site and, and how you reuse things. Well, you, you said uh, something very important. We, we need to work uh, from, from the idea to the act. From yes. the from the planning to the action, and it's very important the 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 uh, all the things that uh, create a really true situation. In, in this uh, and legacy uh, um, uh, project, we have to create uh, uh, and to escape a lot of soil, a lot of soil for the for two uh, levels uh, of the parking. Um, and we have to to put a lot of uh, soil okay outside and in, in trucks. So you have underground in, you have underground yeah, parking. Underground, yeah. So this we means you to dig more soil out, which is yes, to go somewhere. It's, it's yeah. true, and we need to uh, to do the 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 construction of the of the actual area. It, it was a school, a big school with with a more or less. Uh, 60 years, yeah. You you think in the, in the construction 60 years ago, very different with asbest, for example, in in, in in the floor, and we need to create a real form to do all the reconstruction area, all the all the construction and the, and the escape excavation uh, activities without negative impacts to the to the city, to the streets, to the people. And well, what was a Another big challenge, really, um, with a very good planification. Really, we use uh, uh, the the suppliers that uh, uh, do the demolition. And hey, hey, please, it's not a demolition; it's a deconstruction. We need ah. everything. We need the wood. We need the windows. We need the uh, aluminium of, of the of the of the uh, The windows. We need all the elements in these areas. In, in very uh, uh, specific areas for for the for to use uh, for the for the using in, in, after the, the the construction and we we don't use money for to pay for this position for no we win money for the for 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 the salt of these materials, the wood, the the windows, the the, the material of the of the blocks, all the material go to process for to use or to reuse in this in, in these activities. And 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 uh, what big story, the the windows, the windows, the main windows go to the rural area of Bogota for to create a good environment. For society that lives in in the Paramount area, the Paramount is 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 a, a very high uh, area in the, in the base of the mountains with uh, a lot of cold in the nights. You, we we have yes. uh, in, in this area more or less zero uh, zero uh, grades cent Celsius grades yes, or freezing. minus 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 two minus five Celsius yes. grades at the night, and the people live. In these in these conditions, well, with with a with a project with the students with another people, you uh, we put these windows in these in their houses and use a, a Trump uh, Trump wall is is a, a, a construction for to create a little um, greenhouses 
ah, in, okay. in their houses. And we obtain um, five or 10 Celsius grades at night in these houses. It's better, better yes. uh, quality of life so, for these people. Yes, yeah, so two things strike me there. One is words matter, right? Yeah. So it wasn't a demolition. It was a deconstruction. Yes. So how, how, even how you speak about what you're doing influences the actions that follow. So words yeah. matter. Um, and then you also, you also included the students. So they had real life working projects to say, how can we reuse these materials? And you didn't reuse them in the new building, but you reused them somewhere else that would help the community. Yeah, it's true. It was necessary because uh, Miguel, the manager of the project, or me, or the main board, we don't have all the ideas, all the solutions for the circular economy construction. <laughs> the the, the construct. Uh, we, we need a everybody. Lot of people. We need yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's a big party, really. It's, it's a lot of people yep. uh, working in, in it. So do you do you have some sense of some metrics, some numbers you can give us about the the deconstruction overall? Okay, what, what so went great. Right. Uh, Ninety nine point. 95% of the materials after the deconstructions go to new process, half valorization process uh, for, for to create uh, uh, aggregate material for, for waste or for another constructions or for the concrete or for the cement or uh, the, the, the wood for uh, uh, handcraft uh, materials, whatever. But 99.95% of the material go That's amazing. to the new cycle. What, what yeah. was crazy. And the 0.05% uh, is yeah. the asbest uh, material for uh, the uh, odd construction mm -hmm. and go to, yeah. to the specific uh, safety uh, form to dispose. Yeah, they have to be um, specially, specially treated. Yes. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Well, um, congratulations. We, That's an amazing number. Oh, no. What, what was crazy? Um, it's, it's a very hard uh, work for a big team, really, a big team. Yeah, yeah. So I know that, like me, you're a big fan of uh, the book Cradle to Cradle, Remaking the Way We Make Things. And, um, you know, when I first met you, I was working with Bill McDonough and Michael Brongart, who are the authors of the book. And you hired Bill's architecture firm, William McDonough and Partners, to be the conceptual design architects for the building. Tell us a little bit about your personal sustainability journey. You were, you were among the early people like me who were learning about cradle to cradle design, and the technical and biological cycle, nutrient cycles, which many people still don't realize is at the heart of what we now call the circular economy. Yeah. What was it about cradle to cradle that appealed to you? And how did it inform how you helped in the team to bring the new building into existence at the uh, University de Well, uh, it's, it's, it's a, 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 a story, a fantasy story, really. Uh, I, I am working in the university for 10 years. And 10, no, uh, nine years ago, one, one partner uh, go to one meeting with, the, with the, uh, some people of the main board with, with a book. Okay, it's a new book. Okay, sounds great. What's the name? Oh, the name is Cradle to Cradle. What? Cradle to Cradle? <laughs> what, what is this? No, oh, it's about a, a, a new concept. Oh, okay, sounds great. And, uh, and we take uh, in this group, the, the ECHOS group is, is a think tank for sustainability in the AI uh, University. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we take the, 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 the book and, and read and oh my goodness. Wow. And it's epiphany, really. What was an epiphany for all the people. Uh, and we say, wow, it's, 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 wow, it's a new concept for the production. It's a new concept for the life. It's a new concept for, for your personal issues. Wow. And the main board, the Dr. Herbert Perico, um, the president of the, of the main board of the university said, okay, wait a moment. We have a project with a new building uh, the, the, the project uh, will be called uh, Ean Legacy. At this moment, the, uh, the project don't have this, uh, didn't have uh, this name. Uh, Herbert Perico said, okay, I, I like it so much this. And maybe for the project, we have to put some of these contents here in the project. Go ahead. And, and the, the, the more big idea was, okay, hey, what is the author of this book? Ah, 
Bill McDonald. Ah, Bill McDonald is, is an architect, he's a designer. Okay, we need a Bill McDonald as the designer of this, uh, of this building. And it was crazy because at this moment, he said this and two years after of this moment, Bill McDonald is, was, was uh, uh, creating the, the, the first design for the Ean Legacy project. Is 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 to is the power of the dream. Is the power uh, yes. uh, of, of to create uh, good ideas and to facilitate uh, that these ideas go to the reality. Yeah, you don't know what you can achieve until you try, right? Yeah. And if so. you, and if you don't ask, you don't have a chance to to do something, right? So you you asked well, and you got what you wanted in in an amazing way. Yeah, yeah, was was difficult because because Bill uh, don't don't think in Colombia as a one country for for to create one design and and when when uh, we said okay Bogota he said Bogota Bogota maybe it's not a city for one project uh, from me maybe not and it was was a was a long time for knowledge for he know the when a university and for we uh, know all their projects and all the philosophy the cradle to cradle yes. philosophy that you you said you, you are very correct uh, ken you, you know more than than me about the circular economy but one of the main pillars of of basement of, of the circular economy is cradle to cradle is is of course is, the, the the if you don't have the technical and biological cycles in your mind then yeah. you don't have a circular economy. This is the whole idea. And, it's you know, true. now even the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, you know, mm -hmm. recognizes in their butterfly diagram that part, part of the genesis came from mm -hmm. the cradle to cradle idea. Of course, all of the thinking in sustainability and in cradle to cradle and m many different people have thought in many different ways, industrial ecology, biomimicry, there are many, yeah. many things that have been going on for years that are all with the same intention to have a better world. Um, but specifically around circular economy, the, the, the technical and biological cycles, as you say, are, are a key pillar. So tell us a little bit about some of the important and other innovative features that you, uh, you have in the new building that you are most proud of. And uh, why, why did you choose, why do you choose these particular examples you're gonna give me? Well, I think that uh, two things was uh, the, the, the more, uh, they create the more proud uh, in, in our project. Mm -hmm. The first is mm -hmm. the, the, all the activities with the, with the suppliers, with the supply chain, because the, the challenge was big. So, sorry, I, I, I said the challenge was, it, it, this project is a lot of challenge really. Uh, but yeah. uh, when, when the design of, of Big McDonald uh, arrived to Colombia, uh, we have okay. We need a, a building with a cradle to cradle inspiration, and we have to build with Colombian materials. Oh, this is is very <laughs> difficult because Colombia don't have the 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 last technology in the world. We don't have any cradle to cradle certified product. Why we will to build this? Cradle to cradle building spirit. How oh can you do goodness. it? Yes. How can you yes. do it? <laughs> and, 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 and we think, okay, well, we are a university. We have a, a research area. We have a lot of um, sustainable models for the uh, companies. We put all of this in, in one uh, process and make magic. And we create a new form to, to evaluate the, the suppliers and we create a cradle to cradle hub into the university for to uh, uh, spread the knowledge, spread the cradle to cradle um, uh, philosophy, spread the circular economy uh, concept. Uh, eight years ago in Colombia, we don't talk about circular economy. We don't talk about cradle to cradle. Um, I did. We... I did. I came. I yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> a few. You know. A few people were were yeah. pioneering like you. Yes. You know. And uh, when when I talked with with uh, big companies as Corona, Ladrillera Santa Fe, um, Hunter Douglas, I don't know, a lot of big, big, big companies. Okay, I want to talk about circular economy. What? What is yes. circular economy? <laughs> what is this? Uh, it, it is it is clean production. No 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 no. It's, it's another concept. Oh my goodness! Was was a uh, uh, learn and teaching 
uh, process, but was wonderful because yeah, so communication, oh, communication yeah, yeah. is the key, right? You start a dialogue, oh. you start saying, well, I don't know what the uh, economy is, I don't know what cradle to cradle is. And so you start to have a dialogue and you explain, well, it, for me, it means this. And then people get the idea and say, oh, I see now, right? And then you, yeah. you move one level up in building awareness. In, and then yes, you yes. Begin in, to improve, improve the capabilities of, improve, of, of yeah, the companies. Yeah. Uh, uh, was wonderful because when we began the, 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 the construction, we have uh, suppliers with knowledge about circular economy. And years ago, three years ago, and was crazy. It is the first, the first uh, big, uh, big uh, challenge. The second was the wonder frame, because uh, inspired in the ice house of Bill McDonald in the, in the Davos uh, meeting, uh, I don't know, five years ago, six years ago, I don't remember exactly the time. Yes, uh, uh, it sounds Bill, about right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we said, okay, we need one, one wonder frame um, as, uh, as the, the last part of the building in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the walls for to create a, a good environment, whatever, a lot of things of design. Well, put this idea in the, in the, in the, in the real context. We have to work a lot of with uh, Hunter Douglas for to create pilot, uh, pilot uh, ideas, for to create the, the minimum viable uh, process and to create the, the, the product that we have now in the building. Uh, it was crazy because it's inspired in the, in the uh, ice house of Bill McDonald, but a lot of adaptations for Colombian, area for the wind of Bogota, for the solar uh, um, radiation of Bogota, a lot of variations, a lot of uh, um, adaptation, but it's a very good process for to create value with one company for one project. I think for me, you know, what some of the things you're explaining about your experience in this building, um, are good examples of, of something that I talk about a lot when I'm doing public talks. I, I, I gave a talk, um, I did a webinar, a virtual webinar with um, some other people in, in Bogota last week. And one of the yeah. key ideas I said was, look, concepts are simple. Right? The idea, the concept behind sustainability is simple. It's like, don't yeah. do things today that are going to uh, stop your future generations from you know, meeting their needs, right? We can't spoil yeah. things for the next generation. The concept of circular economy as a concept is quite simple. Yeah. It's don't be linear, it's bring things back in different, <laughs> different circles, right? So yeah, the concept is simple, but the, the challenge and one of the main reasons why I wanted you to, to be talking on the podcast today was that the real world is complex <laughs> and people have to make the differentiation which you had to live this, right? For this number of years. You had to, to take the concept, and you said plan to action. You had to take the concept, which is simple, into the real yeah. world, which in Bogota was complex. And so this is, this is the challenge that now we all have in the world. You've, you've lived it through one building. Now mm -hmm. we have to do this with everything. And so I think this idea that a lot of people say they know about circular economy now, but they know about the concept but they haven't yet been through the learning experience that you have to put it in practice. And this is the big challenge now for me is getting people to do more implementation. So, uh, you know, a big, a big congratulations for being among the pioneers. <laughs> Thank um, you. Now, you, you know, Colombia now is one of the most active countries in Latin America on the circular economy. You, yeah. Your government has a circular economy strategy. Yeah. You also have new extended producer responsibility laws, and they're about to go into effect. I know a lot of companies are wondering how they're going to live up to the new regulations. And your work on the building started even before this new focus from the government. Tell us about you know, some of the, how, it, how the interplay between government and the project and the administration. How was it for you personally to explain these all these com the complexity the simplicity of the con com of the con um, concept, but knowing that you had to do it in a in a real world complexity. 
what what were some of the challenges? How did they react? Well, well, uh, um, the 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 big question is how to do real, how to do uh, the ideas, and, and when when we say, okay, go to the most sustainable building in in, in Colombia or in in Bogota, what's perfect, but uh, but when when you say, okay, the cost will be maybe three times to a normal building, the people say, okay, well, wait a moment. Three times? <laughs> Why? Because mm -hmm. we need a, a good assistance for the water. Oh, hey, wait a moment. And hey, we need a, a, a management system for the energy. Oh, no, wait a moment. And renewable energies, what? And uh, this dialogue was complex because uh, it is to put in the, in the same table the ideas, the dreams, and the real, and the and the budget, and the and the money, <laughs> and, and you say, yeah, okay, yeah. we don't have the money for all of this, but we want to work in this. Maybe the the, the big issue for for the the Anne Legacy project was the timing for to create the the close financing things, yeah, yes, for for to create the the, the economic and finance um, good environment for the project. And and was a, a work very very strong because we need to 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 uh, create a lot of uh, force in the budget for to for to for to do the things yeah but we have a good process for for to select the the all the suppliers and we have we, we put the suppliers in our position hey you 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 we need um, windows for example okay the windows home what is the cost whatever that's good um i want the best windows for the best project in colombia for the sustainability and the supplier say okay is, is the best okay tell me more about the project okay i want i want to be in the project i will go the best window at the price of the medium window and all the mm. suppliers are partners. Uh, yes. Is the is the is the SDG seventeen? Is yes. Partners, strategic partners. All the suppliers are strategic partners for the project. And with this work with the partners, we have a good experience for the budget because uh, uh, the, the the budget was three times, and with the with the suppliers work work uh, maybe two two times. Well, two times is a lot of money, and we have a good moment. The timing, I think, uh, the the national government said, okay, three years ago, okay, for the sustainable buildings in Colombia, we will have a credit line, spe specific credit line for sustainable buildings, and we have the the, the lowest um, interest, interest yes. uh, rate. The lowest. So there was so there was good support from the government wow. to try and help make it work. Yes, it, it's perfect because because mm -hmm. actually with all the all the all the these uh, low uh, interest test uh, with all the process with with negotiation with with the partners with all the uh, specific um, specific trading or specific negotiation with with uh, um, fees. And all, all the process and, and the, the construction, all, all, we have the same or less price per square meter building yeah. in Colombia for this project. And, and it's crazy because we, 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 we have now one magnificent sustainable building at the price of a normal building. And That's non amazing. Sustainable building. And it's, it's say amazing, that say it's, that again. Repeat that again because that's really important. <laughs> you, you're saying that you got the most sustainable building in Bogota, or the yeah. price of a conventional building, conventional per square meter. Exactly, exactly. This is this is and what innovation is about. This is you, you know you were able to take the one hundred thousand dollars you say from the from the fencing, and reinvest it back into the project to get something else. That's one of the ways to bring the, the cost down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's was, one of uh, many, one of many examples of what you did. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, a, a lot of work, really, because financial uh, people, well, be, uh, construction people, the suppliers, a lot of work of these people, of these teams, they, 
this real uh, this real thing that we have a very good price for 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 yeah. square meter in Bogota and in one area you know can uh, the area of the of the Ean legacy building is the financial yeah. area of Bogota yes. it, we have mm -hmm. a very big uh, price for for the square meter without building <laughs> yes and, and I, I have an office it's, it's, just it's across a, the a good experience <laughs> my office is across the road from you yeah, right in the in the building yeah. there yeah. you know you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yes, i know i know you haven't been able to open uh, the building really. yeah what's been the reaction to the new building give me a sense even though i know you're not, with covid you can't get in and do it yet fully open but what, what's been the reaction I think that uh, at the beginning, uh, two years ago, the, the people say, the professors, the, the, the board, the students say, really, a legacy? We, we are uh, 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 reading uh, about this project for many years, four years, and really, now? But now, at this moment, the people want to, to see the building. It's crazy because in, in, the, in, the, in the social networks, the, the students, when, when go to the street, take photos and say, oh, okay, yes. the legacy is reality. And the professor said, I want to, to give a class and teaching yes. and learning in the legacy. It's expectation, really. It's, They're uh, excited to, to use it. Yes. Really, really, really. It's, it's an exciting uh, moment because all the, the EAN University community and all the Bogota community, the society, the, 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 um, the Green uh, Council of Building in Colombia, is a lot of people waiting for, to, for, for the moment of the open. And I like it so much because it's not an iconic project. It's an example. We need 10, 100, 1,000, 1 yes. million of these buildings in Colombia and in the world. We need a lot of buildings here. And it's you know what I like? It's a first. Yes, it's the first in Colombia. It's a great, it's a great first, and I'm, I'm very proud for you and all the team. You know, one of the statements, I, there are many things I know from my many years working with Bill and Michael, but um, one of the things that I remember Bill McDonough would always say is, it exists, therefore it's possible. So it is a beacon of hope and it's an example to others. You, you, that building now exists. Yeah. And so clearly you have shown it is possible to do it even in Bogota, right? So this is, this is great. So from your experience in you know, being involved in this project and implementing the new building for Universidad de Ann in Bogota, what advice would you give to other teams as they begin their journey to try and implement other projects and they make the number two building and the number three building in Bogota and in Colombia. Yeah. Well, what, what, I think that, sorry, sorry, Ken. That's okay, yeah, <laughs> what, would, what would you, what experience, you know, would you pass on? What's, yeah, what should sure. they think about? Well, I think that, that uh, the, the main message, the, 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 the main conclusion of this is, uh, dreams come to go reality if you have uh the, the the intention if you have the motivation if you have uh, the real position to create value for the society it is not it's not about money it's not about knowledge it's not about um, i don't know capabilities all of this uh, come come to uh, come come here come come to to the team but if you have the idea for to create real value for the society, go ahead. And it's possible. Belief, Angel having belief. Yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Angel University is not a, a big university in Colombia. It's a medium university. We have um, uh, more, more big universities uh, in, in Colombia with more money, with more capabilities, maybe with, with, with more, a lot of things. But we have a big dream and we believe that we, we create the most sustainable building in Bogota and now is reality. I think that uh, is possible with a great, uh, great people, with, uh, with uh, personal, with uh, the uh, collaborative construction um, initiatives at the circular economy and, and go ahead. It's, 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 it's empowerment, empowerment and goal. Do it, as Nagy said, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, Jose, I congratulate you and all the team at Universidad de Ann on this great achievement, the number one sustainable building in Bogota and in Colombia. 
Um, thank you for your time in explaining some of the things you've been up to these last few years. And I will put some links to Universidad de Anne and to the project, Legacy Project, in the description of the podcast so anyone who's listening who wants to look further into this work uh, can do so. Uh, thank you again for being on the Circularity Edge podcast with me today. And thank you for your personal dedication and the dream <laughs> to make the world a better place to live and to become educated and to work. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for this space. Uh, I want to, to, to talk about this project. It's, it's crazy. Thank you for your passion. My English is very bad, you know. But, no, you've done uh, well, very well. With the, with, the, with, the, with the motion, maybe we will have to uh, uh, transfer all the, all the feelings, all the, all the ideas, and all the love of this project. It's, it's not a project for one people, it's a project for one community, an university community. And I like it so much that you know it, and I like so much this uh, space for to, for to talk uh, about it. Well, you know, it's, it's time even, I, I could say it's past the time for everybody to try and have a dream and create your own personal legacy project like you did at Dayan. Um, so my challenge to everybody listening to the podcast is what will you do? I hope you'll commit to doing your part to make the world a better place because you were born into it. This is Ken Alston with Jose signing off until next time with the Circularity Edge podcast. Bye-bye for now. Bye. You've been listening to the Circularity Edge podcast. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play to get new, fresh weekly episodes. For more, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or visit our website at www.circularityedge.com. Until next time, bye Circular. Circular.